There it is, right there. Okay, we are at the very stern. So, shoreside observers, shoreside observers, what we are seeing is evidence of failure at the stern. Torpedo blast weakened it. Stern impact, as we see, not only perhaps with the digging in, destroyed the uh, the aft house, but you can see how this is broken here. There's those two bollards. It looks like she impacted the bottom with the stern. We don't see any sign of the screw, and the question also has been raised because the reports are that the torpedo hit in the vicinity of cargo hold number four, which is further aft, and we're clearly seeing a blast hole in number three. Is, did the por torpedo actually hit further forward, or could there have been two torpedoes? So looking at this wreckage stern and the, the degree of damage we're seeing, we're just trying to get some idea of whether or not there may have been something more to this. Just a short line there off to your left. Right. That's the one facing south, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a, a yoga position, south-facing line? <laughs> <laughs> really quick recap. Uh, you're looking at the wreck of the Coast Trader. It's looking right into the hole. Whoa. Wow. That's quite a shot. It's like the whole ship just... Twisted. Yeah. yeah. That could... I wonder what velocity it hit the bottom at. Pure speculation that be at this depth, any significant trapped air in the hull would slow it down. Yeah. But it looks like it hit hard yeah. enough to really mangle the stern. Yeah, although with a 40-minute sinking, it, if it settled by the stern, it, it didn't have that far to go once it once it slipped under. But we exactly seeing it how it's how it's split out here. This, this is a, a great view. We, we appreciate you all uh, doing this, this last view. Let me go down a little from here and see if we could peek under the hull. Just if we got right, right down to the mud line, maybe we could get some uh, hint of a rudder or a propeller. Seems unlikely. Uh, those pieces are well into the mud. The fish are enjoying them. <laughs> Again, you're looking at the Coast Trader, ship built in 1920 and sank in 1942 by a Japanese submarine, um, torpedoed into uh, part of the hole that you are uh, very near uh, looking at now, and it really mangled the ship up. Um, we're seeing this through the view, uh, through the eyes of two ROVs that are being supremely piloted by some talented um, people up here in the control van. So the ROVs are remote controlled from the ship. There's not any people down in the water.